well, I think this is back to back games where we've had. Um, I think our effort was a bit really good. First, let's congratulate Marquette. You know, good win. Marquette beat a really, really good basketball team today. I thought our effort was fantastic, but you can see where our synergy offensively is just not there. It's, you know, got to find a way. I don't know when Jared will be back, but you can see, you know, uh, Breed's coming off of the flu of the last couple of days where he hadn't practiced. And Jaden's coming out of being sick, so you can see maybe there's still some residue there. So those are our primary ball handlers, but I give our players a lot of credit for withstanding a lot, getting us back in the game. I thought today what beat us was our, our lack of execution, our mental and emotional mistakes. It was many, many times one of the biggest plays of the game. I think there was an offensive rebound that went out of bounds. I thought we should have had the rebound down five, and then they shoot it to the corner with under three minutes to play. That three was game, set, match. I thought we had some good energy coming back. Um, and, you know, I thought both teams played hard. Both teams played well. I thought they just played a little bit better than us where they took advantage of a lot of our mistakes between the missed free throws, the missed layup, and transition, in particular in the second half. You know, uh, coming out of timeouts, you can see where we just didn't have a lot of synergy in chemistry, and that's, you know, that's on me. We as a staff got to do a better job. Very proud of our players' effort. Very proud of our effort. Our effort was big time. We just came up a little shorthanded today. We've lost two in a row. We got to come back home, you know, imploring everybody to get to Amica Mutual Pavilion on Saturday. We need a sold-out crowd. We need a booming crowd. We need all the energy and effort we can get to try to get back on the winning side, and hopefully we can get healthy. Other than that, it's a great league. It's a tough league, and, um, Got to give Marquette a lot of credit. They played well against a very good basketball team. Any questions? Yeah, and in the uh, first half when they ended up, you know, breaking it out a little bit, uh, there was a tech against against Bryce uh, that hurt a little bit. They were like, maybe to what you're speaking of, there were like three things in a row that kind of just set you back and and – put you back on your heels and, and and dug that hole that eventually you just never really get out of. Yeah, and I didn't understand the technical foul. I don't think there was any vulgarity that was used. It was just, you know, come on. That was, you know, what, what he had told me. Um, you know, you got final four officials on the game. Those guys are the best of the best in the country. So, you know, it's just something that I'll talk to Bryce about. And then we have another turnover. The energy in the building got going. Um you know, it's hard to win on the road, guys. It's really, really hard to win on the road, especially against a talented team like this. And, you know, it just came up short. You know, that was one of the emotional maturity things we talked about. And you did mention turnovers. Uh, turnovers, obviously, without Jared, he, he would limit those a little bit. Uh, it did a good job in the second half, but in the first half, really, really did, uh, you know, give you some problems. Yeah, yeah, it's... It's frustrating to me, you know. It's something we got to work on. But you got to credit Marquette's defense. You know, they did not they did not allow us to get comfortable. You know, credit Shock and his staff. They try to double who I think is the best player in the Big East in Bryce Hopkins. You know, I mean, he had his hands full. They were sending two or three guys at him every time, um, and he did a good job trying to get it out. You know, to trying to get it out. Um, we got to make plays when other people are doubling us. So. Hopefully that's something we'll learn from this. We'll learn from this. You know, we got 12 games left. We're coming home for a homestand. Two games is going to be very, very important that we get everybody in, in our city and in our state behind these men because they deserve it based on the energy and effort that they're given. Hey, Ed, what'd you think of uh, Devin kind of handling the ball a little bit more the second half, given, like you said, no Jared and with uh, Jaden and Bree kind of under the weather, still coming back from what they were dealing with? You know, I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought he did a good job. We've been practicing him a little bit with the ball, you know, in his hands. Um, I, I think he did a decent job, given given that that's not his primary responsibility uh, for his role on our team. So I give him a lot of credit trying to, you know, deal with the adversity. I mean, they had a hell of a crowd, great atmosphere, great college basketball game. So he, we'll probably see a little bit more of that if we can't get, you know, um, Jared healthy in the near future. And how much did Prosper and I? And uh, Ikadawa really hurt you guys tonight. Hurt? I mean, their length is definitely something we had to deal with. Um, 
You know, I thought they made a couple of timely baskets. They got some very friendly rolls. Uh, I don't think it was so much them hurting us as it was the threes. Cam Jones, timely two threes. I thought Kolick did a really good job today. I think them two in particular, Jones and Kolick, hurt us more so than Prosper and Iguodaro. Ed, there were a, a couple chances down the stretch where, where maybe if you got a stop or two, this would be different. Can you just speak to Marquette's execution there, maybe the last three or four minutes and, and the way they were able to continue? They did a really good job, and that's what playing at home does. That's what, you know, that extra edge does. Um, you know, they did. They executed a really good game plan coming down the stretch. We missed a couple of opportunities where we weren't. That was the discipline we talked about, the emotional discipline of, you know, a scouting report and a game plan. You know, you, you got no time to have my bad, and we had two or three my bads coming down the stretch that ultimately cost us the game. Any more questions? I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Why don't we do this today? Okay, so Saturday. See you guys Saturday.